everyone and welcome back to the channel. So the reason I am keeping my voice hush hush is because I've just seen an otter, possibly the very first otter I've ever seen in the wild. I don't think I've even seen an otter apart from in a zoo or somewhere like that. So yeah, I'm actually back at um, RSPB Lakenheath in Meerhide. And this is a hide that I've not been to in a long, long time because obviously the shutdown of the RSPB hides due to COVID. And it didn't, uh, the day started at about midday. The van's actually just been into the garage to have new tyres and alignment done. And as it's quite close to Lakenheath, I thought I'd pay a little visit. And to be honest, I wasn't really hoping for a lot. But yeah, um, apparently there's been hobbies, which is we're in sort of beginning of October, mid to beginning of October. And hobbies usually have disappeared by then. So I have actually seen one or two just doing a flyby every now and then. In fact, <laughs> there's one just just in the distance um, and between that I was and I was kind of hoping to see kingfishers as well because this is where I actually got my very first shot of kingfishers not here in the hide but by the visitor center now the last thing I expected um, the chap in the visitor center told me that otters have been spotted otters were the last thing I was expecting to see um, to be fair I've had quite a long week, I'm pretty tired and I can thank that for happening because I was just too lazy to walk <laughs> through the whole reserve today and I decided to spend a lot of my time in here, especially as it's so windy and rubbish weather. But wow, just to, just to see an otter is, is so, so cool. Now I managed to get about five to ten shots he was just in like a little channel uh, between the two sort of main pond lake areas. Um, settings were all over the place, but like I say, I really didn't expect to see it. He didn't hang around for too long. So the plan now is to sit and wait. Hopefully we can get some footage or even just some photographs, decent photographs of an otter. So yeah, let's see what we do. Bye bye. So uh, that's the reality of Joe's wildlife photography. Um, sitting in a hide trying to be quiet. And obviously what I need in my life is to hear about how crap my son's school is. So that's my wife um, telling me all about what how, how brilliant they are. Um, personally, I feel like they should be the best teachers in the world right now, seeing as they've had all the year off to become the best teachers in the world. Um, so yeah, that's that's the third, third call now. So that's good. <laughs> I love my wife and son, but so two and a half hours later and the light has completely gone it's pouring down with rain <laughs> so this is why wildlife photography in the UK is the worst <laughs> oh, I feel I could have a full frame camera with an f2.8 lens and not get any results um, not that it matters because the otter has not come back in the last two and a half hours. So I think this will be the end of the video. This is the reality of wildlife photography in the UK. Till next time.